Hey, sir. What you talking over here? Hey! Hey! What you talking? I'm talking to you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. I'm preaching. You're probably the guy that needs to be at the altar tonight. Hope God you're not in Miles Anderson's. you're going to be a preacher, everybody in the audience preach, t- talks while you preach. You'll reap what you sow. Still up. Amen. Ain't no shame like Christian shame, and ain't no pride like Christian pride through pastors. Now, first of all, personal thing, all that damn mouth noise, oh my God, there's absolutely no way I could sit in that man's church. And listen to all that damn mouth noise. That would dr- drive me insane to hear you fumbling around with your dentures like that or whatever the hell is creating that mouth noise. But you preaching. The man came to the church. Out of respect, yeah, he shouldn't be talking. You called him out. First of all, I'm a grown ass man. I don't know who the hell you yelling at. But all right, I was talking. I'm wrong. Rude. Got it. But then after you done did your correction, your rebuking in public, okay, move on. I ain't talking no more. But you just got to keep coming back. You just got to keep, 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 mm, mm. Get, get your, mm, mm. get, mm, mm. one more time. Mm. You just got to get that in. The arrogance and the pride that these pastors have and thinking that they rule over you and that they are the one that, like, they're your daddy. Like, they're the ones who can tell you everything that you're supposed to do in your life. Like, they are so precious that if you do anything to their disliking, that they can just ridicule you in public. I hope this man wasn't sitting there with his family. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. Even when I was a Christian, if somebody would have spoken to me like that publicly, oh, Oh, it's going to be on, bro. It's on. Because I'm about to stand up. I'm about to cuss you out. I'm about to let you know that I'm a grown-ass man. I don't know who the hell you think you're yelling at, first of all. And then second of all, you not got your pound of flesh. Don't come back for three, four, five more pounds. Because when you do, it's going to come back at you. So even when I was a Christian, I still had that Eddie J. Ross in me. I still had that Harold D. Reed in me. I still, still had that United States Marine Corps in me. And I'm going to tell you, I cuss your ass out. When you deserve it. And that man deserves to be cussed out. Because no one who should be sitting on the pulpit talking about love and 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 taking care of people and being God's spokesperson on earth and all this stuff. And you treat another person like that. See, I didn't deconstruct from the Bible because of people. I deconstructed because I studied your Bible. I studied archaeology. I studied history. I came to the revelation that your Bible is filled with contradictions, that your Bible God is evil as hell, and that this is I don't want to have anything to do with this, and that your God cannot be God. I came to that realization without people doing things to me. But if I was in that situation, he would just add, like I said in the previous video, the final nail to the coffin. Because you Christians are supposed to live a life that demonstrates what we all would want to be. I mean, isn't that the idea? Live a life that others say, man, I wonder how he got his life. How did he get all his life like that? He seems so peaceful. He seems so happy. He seems so assured of himself. He's being blessed and blessed and blessed. I want to be like that. Sir, what do you do? What did you do to get that way? And then you espouse your Christianity. Because according to your Bible, when the people didn't, when, when Jesus cast out the legion into the pigs and the pigs ran off the cliff, which has never made any sense whatsoever. The people said, Jesus, go on about your business. We don't want to talk to you. And he left. When he went to Nazareth, people didn't want to hear him. He left. So when y'all run up on people and y'all constantly yuck, 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 yucking, no, do like Jesus. Just leave. Leave people alone. If we don't want to hear your words, we don't want to hear your words. Bye. But that. 
to walk into one of your services and see somebody act that way, see a so-called pastor at his age acting like he's like a crotchety old man with all that dang old mouth noise because his mouth's so dry or his dentures falling out. You need to get some fix fix a dent, bro. Get you some fix a dent. And you won't be on the microphone with all that <laughs> noise going on. Tongue sticking all out because you ain't got control over your saliva. You're probably just dribbling all over the place. Nah, bro. I don't know who you was talking to, but whoever that person was, is, was, is, yeah, <laughs> you should leave that church. If you're still going to be Christian, go find you another church. You do not need to be up under a pastor who has that much arrogance and pride that he would treat other people in the congregation like that. It's one thing to rebuke, to correct. It's a whole other thing to just keep on just, mm, mm, just mm, get the knife in, mm, mm. I'm so thankful and so glad that I'm not a Christian. Y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.